hard to reach back in my pocket. Well, I will have one of these. Look at that. That's a license right there. Compton, California. Ask that Buster Draper. He have one. He probably has all the Compton license. So this is Compton, man. It's like, right down this way right here is my neighborhood. My uh, street I stay on. Uh, there you are. Pops. Pops. You couldn't beat me if you rap. 
name is Ivan the Great and what I'm doing is I'm making a blog on my I'm making a video and I'm including my blog now Robocop is Dr. Dre the luckiest man alive or a killer has been available since Friday, January 1st, 2016. Friday, January 1st, 2016. Now, there have been many who have read this blog, then ran to Hollywood as if they have received a revelation from God this blog has created many uh, 15 seconds of fame type people uh, the latest blog uh, story that's spawning off of this blog is who killed easy E we already know who killed Easy E because of my blog. It was Suge Knight. And we will play the video that's in this blog. Uh, this blog starts out uh, talking about my record deal at McCola Records. We, uh, we deal with the fact that he shot at his wife in this blog. Uh, this blog is concerning the murders of Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls. I am Ivan Law. I created what you know as the West Coast Sound or the Sound of Hip Hop. Uh, I applied for a Lifetime Achievement Award, a Special Merit Award candidate submission due on April 1st, 2014. Submitted by Ivan Law, date 331-2014. Potential honoree Ivan Law, uh, submit for, please check one, Lifetime Achievement Award for Performing Arts. Age of potential honoree, 50. Guidelines, please submit a one-page bio for the potential honoree using Microsoft Word Arial 12-point font, single spacing, email it to Mark Mikowski. Lifetime Achievement Award, this special merit award is presented by vote of the Recording Academy of Arts National Trustees to the performers during their lifetime have made creative contributions of outstanding artistic significance to the field of recording. Trustees Award, this special merit award is presented by vote of the Recording Academy of National Trustees the individual during a lifetime in the music have made significant contributions other than performance to the field of recording. Now, as I said, this blog lays out the fact that Easy e was poisoned. Uh, I am the first to reveal that to the world Friday 
it was Friday, January 1st, 2016, that I revealed to the world that Easy e was poison. So let's first, since Easy e was the first murder, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this uh, here first. So let's uh, get that fired up here. Fresh out of Now, what makes Dr. Dre a prime suspect for the murders of Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls? Number one, he's an imposter. He's a fraud. He plagiarizes his music career. Number two, Dr. Dre is, is, is an extremely violent individual. And I assume that he is extremely weak around men because he is exceptionally violent with women. And usually men who are violent with women will fear any type of strong rebuke from a man. And it is because of Michelle that I am in line to receive the $100,000 reward for the murders of Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls. Now, let's see what Michelle got to say about Dr. Dre. Um, now, you had mentioned there was some abuse that kind of happened between you and Dre. I'm gonna rap like this to a serious beat You couldn't beat me if you're rapping with three Because as I stand, I'm only one And I still come here to get the job done And at the same time, I'm having fun And I'm not gonna leave until you're done I was born and raised in the city of LA That is the place where I learned to play Just a little bio so you know what I'm about Now it's time to turn the damn thing out Just like an earthquake rock the house So Dre shot at his wife, and that's how I was able to get Detective Dupree to his door. Uh, when I informed Lieutenant Thompson that Dr. Dre had shot at his wife, Lieutenant Thompson said, where? I said, right here in Los Angeles. When did that happen? I said, around the time when all that killing was going on. He said, okay, I'm going to add your name to the Biggie homicide file. And that's how my name got added to the Biggie homicide file, because I was able to let the lieutenant know that Dr. Dre shot at his wife and anybody who shoots at their wife, you can't say they didn't kill anybody without a proper investigation unless you are an infected roach. So that's how I got Dr. Dre on the radar for the murders of Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls. 
Now, we have a couple of more murders. Uh, Roger Troutman. <clears throat> this is a familiar song to you. All you Drake fans, you ought to know this song. <laughs> and they even open up the same way Roger Troutman opened up his song. Let me welcome everybody to the Wild Wild West. Now, so Roger Troutman is actually the producer of this beat, but he would be the victim of a murder suicide. Roger Troutman would be the victim of a murder suicide, and him and his brother would be found dead. Uh, and, but the, those deaths need to be revisited because after those deaths, Dr. Dre, who is a complete fraud and a complete imposter, someone who completely plagiarized their music career, would take full credit for this music, and he didn't really make that beat. But he took credit as if he did make the beat. So we're going to dive in and find out why. Why did Dr. Dre need to do this? Why? What would be Dr. Dre's motive? What would be his motive for killing Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls? What would be his motive for killing Easy e What would be his motive? Well, we'll dive into that. And what you're going to discover is that Dr. Dre is Dr. Fraud. The next cut while here at the junket, check it out. In this little glass bowl, I have some shop talk. You guys pick one and you have to answer what you think. What are these topics? Understand, this is Cube, not Cal. Exactly, that's exactly who I want. Might be a little different. Who killed the head on my Who killed Tupac and Biggie? You know, I think both of these dudes were assassinated in some kind of way. More Biggie than Tupac. I think Tupac might have got killed by a dude that they that they you know had an incident with earlier that day, but Biggie's is, seems a little... <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. 